Hey guys, Cody with Evolution Personal Training, but today I'm actually wearing the Evo Bootcamp shirt with Authentic Battle Damage because it was kind of a crazy workout today. Now the reason I'm shooting a video from the kitchen is I'm in the middle of doing up a series of videos on how to cook recipes that fall in line with the Evo meal plans and how to do it pretty cheap. How they taste, uh, that, that's going to be up to the individual viewer, but I'm going to say that they taste adequate. But the reason I'm making a video this Tuesday is I saw a documentary this past weekend that I had some clients ask me about, and it also had helped me solidify some ideas that I've had for a while. Now, a few years ago, I read an article by an author named Dan John, who's also a very well-accomplished coach. He said that fitness is your ability to do a task. And having watched this documentary, The Fittest on Earth, it finally let few ideas click into place that should have probably done so a few years ago. The idea of fitness being task relevant is really, really important, especially with all of the marketing for workouts, for boot camps, for group activities, for individual personal training. Fitness is your ability to do a task. So that means that fitness is only task relevant. For example, if you're a computer programmer, there's a certain level of physical and neurological fitness required to do that job. Same thing with being an Olympic lifter. Same thing with being a CrossFit athlete, martial artist, personal trainer. Anything that requires physicality is going to have a fitness component. Now, there are levels of fitness in each of those uh, different niches, but it's not something that's an absolute. You can't say that one level of fitness is greater than another because if you take one person out of their little niche and you drop them into another, even though they were the most fit in their category, when they're moved to a different one, because there are slightly different variables involved, you're going to see a different level of performance. So the idea of fitness being isolated to a particular idea, concept, training parameter, or anything, I think is a false marketing idea, and one which we shouldn't really get bound up too much by. We see it all the time, and it's the reason I'm making the video today. It's becoming much more relevant as far as marketing goes. The most important thing when looking at the concepts of fitness, and again, I'm not trying to dog CrossFit on this. I'll talk about the good and the bad on our next two videos for this week. But the idea of being the most fit is a false idea. You can be the most fit in a category, but you can't be the most fit across all categories because there will be some performance drop-off, which is why in a lot of successful and safe training programs, you'll see periodization, where we focus on a particular element as the most important to train, while we take the other attributes that a body and the mind have and we keep them at a certain level. So we oscillate in between a few different variables. This video might get a little bit long if we start getting into the science of that, so let's kind of make it as succinct as possible. When it comes to fitness, whenever you see it in books, movies, in any type of advertising, fitness is your ability to do a task and that fitness level is only going to be task specific so don't become tied up in the idea of being the most fit or the most X of any particular thing because it's always going to be within a particular category. Try and focus on what your individual goals are, what it is that you want to accomplish. Have benchmarks from where you're at and where your goal is at that you can hit in between so you know that you're on the right track. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, just go ahead and throw them in the comments below. This coming Thursday, we'll actually talk about the good stuff I see in CrossFit, a lot of the influences that went into its development that are made public by the company, some that are not, and things that I've actually used that I've seen solidified as ideas in the CrossFit program that are now a part of the EVO formula. And then on Saturday, we'll talk about maybe some of the negative things, uh, some of the things that I would change, and some basic ideas that those tie into in the entire fitness industry. Guys, thank you, and I'll talk to you Thursday.